Pi Vision is the web-based visualization tool to access all of your Pi system data quickly and easily from virtually anywhere with the web browser. Let's look at the new features introduced with Pi Vision 2022 that will enhance your displays. Pi Vision administrators can now standardize displays to match a company, department, or regional style. To show this, I have a batch reactor display here where I am trending concentration and volume. I really like how this trend looks and would like to make it the new default. So I will go ahead to configure this trend and save this as the default configuration. Now on a new display, whenever I create a trend symbol, I get the configuration of my saved default trend. Defaults for background color and other symbols can be saved in a similar fashion. However, there are a few defaults that can be set from the Pi Vision admin page, including time bar duration defaults, multi-state defaults, event severity colors, and acknowledgement button color. Trend cursor values now update as you drag cursors across a trend area to help you quickly identify and analyze the data you are looking for. PyVision users now have the ability to switch units of measure on a variety of symbols. This will allow display builders to view AF attributes and asset-based PyVision calculation values in the UOM that is most applicable to their users in their region. By far the biggest set of enhancements in PyVision 2022 come from event frame visualization. Analyzing event frames is now much easier with enhancements across event comparison displays as well as event detail displays. Users can now overlay multiple event frame attributes on the same event comparison trend in order to more readily compare and analyze attributes throughout an event. Notice how attributes on a single trend show up in different line styles, and then you can highlight a single attribute just like in a standard trend tool. Using the gear icon on the top left, you can further configure your trend by changing the line style of the individual trace. If you need a closer look at any event trend, you can now expand the event comparison trend to fill up the entire trend area during analysis. If you have a large number of child event frames as part of your data, you can now quickly expand and collapse levels of the events in the Gantt chart, making it easy for you to find just the event that you are looking for. Once you have found that specific event, you can now use the alignment feature on the Gantt chart to align on child event names for analysis, and even zoom into that particular child event for more detail. As you analyze your events, you can also zoom in on specific areas of event trends for a closer analysis of the data. As you pan, the highlighted area on the Gantt chart gives you an indication of where you are in the event. In an event details display, you can pan backward and forward in time, even before or after the event. This will allow users to see important process data that led up to an event or what happened because of an event. We hope you can make good use of these new features in your displays. For further information on PyVision 2022, please refer to the release announcement linked in the description.